All right, shifting focus. Well, he is uh, Punjab Kings' star all-rounder. He is one of the key players who adds firepower with his explosive batting. Times Network's Karishma spoke exclusively to Liam Livingstone. And in his candid conversation, the Englishman speaks about his IPL journey so far and gives a sneak peek into the dressing room uh, camera dairy among Punjab players. Also, he shares his comeback journey post-injury. is one of the most explosive batsmen in T20 cricket, Liam Livingstone, currently playing for Punjab Kings in the Indian Premier League. Liam, thank you so much for speaking to us firstly. Pleasure. No worries. Um, how has it been for you? It's a new season of IPL, of course, the 2023 season. You're coming off an injury. We saw glimpses of your potential versus Chennai as well. Uh, so how has it been uh, being back so far? Yeah, it's been a long time since I've played cricket, to be honest, before the, the start of this IPL. So it's taken me a little while to get going. Um, just enjoying being back playing cricket, to be honest. Enjoy being back in the team environment and enjoying not having to spend my life in the gym. So, um, yeah, like I said, I was coming back to somewhere that um, I knew well. I obviously enjoyed my time with Punjab last year and somewhere that I'd already previously done well, so it was always nice to come into that environment and people already know what you can do. So, yeah, I've really enjoyed my time up to now. It feels like I've hardly been here. Um, but, yeah, it's it's been nice. It's been nice to be back playing cricket and nice to be back in a familiar environment. Well, Liam, you know, IPL also played its 1,000th match very recently. What do you think makes IPL so different and, uh, you know, one of the best leagues in the world? And it's not just me saying it. There are viewership numbers that support it. The packed stadiums support what I'm saying. Yeah, I guess if you look at our game yesterday, playing in Chennai and when Dhoni came out to bat, I don't think there's anywhere in world sport that would probably be as loud as what that stadium was yesterday, which is a cool experience. I was stood there for the last three or four balls of the innings just smiling about um yeah the atmosphere that there was in the stadium yesterday and um yeah I guess things like that probably made the IPL the biggest tournament in the world. Um and yeah even every stadium you go to it's pretty much packed out every game. Um and I guess the pressure and stuff is very different to to any other league. There's a lot of um there's a lot of eyes on you in this tournament. Um, it's pretty much a lifestyle over here. Everybody loves cricket. Everybody knows about cricket. So, yeah, it's certainly a tournament that I've enjoyed playing in over the last couple of years. And it's certainly something I look forward to every year. You know, we're nearing the end of the league stages as well. So it is going to be a very important match versus Mumbai Indians at home uh, for you, for Punjab Kings. Yeah, it's a huge game for us. Uh, I think every game is big now. The, the table's so tight. Uh, one win or one loss can, can move you quite significantly in either direction. So, um, yeah, they, they're all big games. Um, we haven't really done that well at home this season as well. We've done really well away from home, which is really weird. So, yeah, hopefully we can. Uh, I think it's our last game at Mahali as well before we move on to Dana Shala. So, um, yeah, hopefully we can sign off with a win and uh, keep the momentum going towards the end of the tournament. And, you know, Punjab as a team also on paper is very, very strong. There's you, uh, there's Shikhar Dhawan, there's <clears throat> Arshdeep Singh, Sam Karan, Pramchandran Singh, Harpreet, uh, Atharva. I can just go on and on. So somewhere, all of, if all of that comes together, there is no stopping Punjab Kings. Yeah, it, I think within our dressing room, we've got great confidence with everybody around us. Um, and yeah, I guess if you're gonna uh, if you're gonna peak at a certain time of the tournament, it's always best to do it at the end and not the start. So um, we've said all along that we're building up to try and play our best cricket towards the end of the tournament, and hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully we can work our way into the finals. And if that happens, that we're we're playing our best cricket at the the business end of the tournament, which would be great. But um, yeah, like I said, the the main goal is to make that top four and hopefully push our way into finals. And, you know, you spoke about Punjab being a blend of all kinds of people. So I wanted to know what is uh, the dressing room chatter like? Because, you know, uh, there are the Indian players, there are Sri Lankan players, uh, there are England players. So what is the dressing room chatter like? Tell us a little bit. It's good fun. Everybody gets on really well. Um, yeah, we all like to take the mick out of each other. So, um, yeah, it's great fun. It's 
I enjoyed it last year and it was something that I was really looking forward to. And I guess um, there's nothing better than than going somewhere that you enjoy playing your cricket. And I'm, I'm certain that uh, having a good dressing room is a massive part of enjoying the game. So um, I've got a lot of good friends in, in this dressing room now, having spent uh, some time with them. I obviously got Sam as well, who's one of my close friends from England. So, um, yeah, it's been great fun. Uh, I've really enjoyed the last couple of weeks and, um, yeah, I feel as though we're really starting to build, uh, building to start playing our best cricket. And uh, it's a, it's the exciting part of the tournament, which is the best part of it. Well, absolutely. Liam, I want to talk to you about home advantage, home crowd. You spoke about, you know, not doing too well at home at the moment. Uh, but uh, tell me something, you know, when you need a six or you need a wicket and uh, the crowd is cheering for you, how much of a difference does that push make for a home team? Yeah, it's huge. I think it's been a home disadvantage for us this season, to be honest. We haven't really played that well at home, which is a bit of a shame. You always want to do well at home. You always want to um, put on a show for, you, for your home crowd, which has been a little bit disappointing. So I'm sure the boys are, are really looking forward to Wednesday and hopefully turning that around. Um, but yeah, anywhere you go, uh, even when we play at away grounds, the, the atmospheres are unbelievable. Everybody just likes watching good cricket. And even when you hit a six, there's always loud noises wherever you are, whether you're at home or away. So yeah, hopefully the, the Mahali crowd could get behind us on Wednesday and, and really push us towards another win. And I think if we win on Wednesday, then we'll be building up uh, for a great run towards the end of the tournament. And Liam, do you have any superstitions that you do before you're stepping out to bat or stepping onto the field? Any particular rituals that you have, if not superstitions? Not really. I always step on the pitch with my left foot first. That's about it. That's the only one I've allowed to, to get into my head. Um, I think cricket is a very funny sport. Certain people do certain things which have absolutely no influence on performance but in your head it makes you feel like you're doing the right thing so thankfully i haven't allowed too many of them to to get into my head yet so um yeah i basically step on the pitch left foot first that's about it and any team ritual before a match is going to start or before the toss is going to happen no not really we have meetings and stuff but um yeah, there's no real ritual. Shikha's too chilled out for that stuff. <laughs> Trevor's very much the same. So, um, yeah, I guess most of our stuff is just doing what we need to do to get ready to go out and perform. My last couple of questions. You know, IPL points table is always a roller coaster till the very last minute. There have been so many last ball finishes as well. So how are you looking at the points table currently? If you could pick your top four for us. Uh, I haven't really looked at the points table, to be honest. I don't really like uh, seeing what's going on. I prefer to get towards Maybe the end of the tournament. Have you watched seen the yeah. other teams perform if you have a top four in your mind? Yeah. Uh, I don't really... I prefer to concentrate on what...